What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nephew the Boss, but you can call me Nephew. Now, look, I got like 5,000 people asking me how did I get verified, and they asking my friends how they got verified. So I decided for everybody's sake to just make a how-to because the videos I saw on YouTube don't discuss the real requirements that's most likely holding people back from getting verified. So you should definitely stick around for the full video to understand how to troubleshoot your verification denials. Now, I feel I'm qualified to make this how-to video because my job when I'm not day trading, gaming, making music, running a record label is to handle brand social media accounts for celebrities, musicians, brands, and build them from scratch to making money or gaining exposure, engagement, and whatnot. Now, I verified over 20 people on Twitter, Facebook, Spotify, YouTube, Vine, and Periscope. And I just learned how to do Instagram, so when you see me verified there, that means I can make another video on how to. Now, I'm making this video so I can help more people than I can have time to help. All right, now, step one. Understand what verification is. Its basic purpose is to authenticate official Twitter accounts from accounts that are fake or more likely to be personated. That could be an artist, a brand like GoPro, YouTuber who has tons of subscribers, who has a bunch of people on Twitter trying to pretend to be him. Good example, PewDiePie. Other than that, verification is just a symbol of authenticity. Even though my company personally handles social media accounts for several verified people, it's not always the real people tweeting since they are usually too busy doing shows, making videos, selling products, and they always have their account on their phone. Nah. Step two. Understand what Twitter is looking for. You are supposed to be a brand approaching Twitter saying, Hey, I'm the shit. I sell things online. I have several fans. People are trying to steal my image. People can't tell if it's the real me or not. I got people stealing clients from me and scamming them because my Twitter ain't verified. Now, that right there is grounds for verification. Just face it. If you the shit like that, you need a check mark. Now, Twitter is looking to partner with your brand and help you build your brand with more followers customers you know what i'm saying now they are a publicly traded company and they in the business of making money now with that said one prerequisite that i've had that helped me raise my chances and my clients chances for getting verified was by turning on twitter ads and even if you don't plan on growing your account with twitter ads you should still authorize it on twitter account you know what i'm saying and add hundred dollars play around with it you know what I'm saying? It looks like you're serious about the build your brand, especially if you have less than 2,000 followers trying to apply. Now, by the way, I have seen people with 500 followers verified. So there's no set amount of followers that you must have, but usually the low follower accounts that got verified is because of some third party PR, major company is sponsoring, partnering with the brand. They got pulled. And if you don't have at least 5,000 followers, I say try to get there before trying to apply to make you look more serious as a brand. Now, step three, understand what you need. Things that you would need before you get verified. One, a valid ID. <laughs> I mean, if you owe tickets in real life and you ain't got no valid ID, you can forget it because they checking your criminal record most likely to see if you're a wanted fugitive by the FBI. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, now look, 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 number two, a website. I mean, come on, if you're a brand, you're an artist, how you gonna do business without a website? I mean, except, the only exception is if you're a YouTuber and you might can slag because YouTube is your website. You know what I'm saying? Now, number three, people screw this one up all the time. But you need to add your Twitter timeline or follow button to your website so you can prove that it's actually your website attached to the account. The one that you bought with GoDaddy or whatnot, with your name and your address, with your card. You know what I'm saying? That's the one you need to put your Twitter account on. Number four. Your website needs to match your Twitter account handle. You can't be shitstorm 455 with a website named shitstormboss.com. The website need to be shitstorm 455.com. Just that simple. Now number 5. All your social media need to match shitstorm 455 as well. So your Instagram, your Facebook, everything need to be matching. Now don't give me no crap for number 6. KanyeWest.com is perfect example because his Twitter is Kanye West, his Instagram Kanye West. 
Now, I had somebody come to me like, yo, man, Jay-Z, his, his Twitter is dash C dash and his website not S dash C dash. And I'm like, man, come on, bro. I mean, that's Jay-Z. So he, he huge. He can do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, number seven, you need to have an email matching the website. So make it something like gamer at shitstorm455.com or music at shitstorm455.com. Anything like that. Management. And add that to your Twitter. I'm talking about like not no shitstorm four five five at Gmail. Don't use no Gmail, no Yahoo, no AOL, none of that. Cause they're not taking that serious. You need to have a website email. Now number eight. Try not to name your social media shitstorm four five five. <laughs> Just make it shitstorm. Take the four five five off. You know what I'm saying? If you can, if you can't find a clever name that no one has taken. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I'll make a video on how to find a better name and how to tie it all together with all the social networks. If every time you get a name, you go to some network and it's taken. I'll show you how to do that. Now, number nine. Your bio has to say official Twitter of Shitstorm455, the gamer, or musician, or YouTuber, or a laxative pills. Whatever it is that you're doing, you need to be in the bio. Now, if you're an artist... You need to have your main iTunes link here. And that's not the one with the album. I'm talking about the one that got all your albums. It's one link. It got everything. And your website URL, it need to be shitstorm455.com. Or shitstorm.com if you switched it. If you're a gamer, man, you, you, you just put youtube.com slash shitstorm. Okay, now, 10. Now we're getting somewhere. You need to get yourself in somebody's blog. If you're an artist, go to HypeMachine.com, find some bloggers, get friendly. If you're a brand product, find a writer. Somebody who can promote your brand or story or something like that so you can get some write-ups. You know, get on Twitter, you know, do some searches for yourself. If you don't see nothing, you need to put something there. Because when they do it, if they don't see nothing, it's rap. Now, artists need to have their music on AllMusic.com, a Wikipedia page of hell, but it's not required. I think being on TuneCore.com helps a lot, too. Now, nah, that's what I had. I had some songs on there and I got verified. And if you're a YouTuber, just make a lot of videos. That'll help make sure that when they search you on Google, they'll see your name. Now, lastly, patience is a virtue. Now, when you embark on this quest to get verified, you know they're going to put your, 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 your app in the list. If your um, name come up, you know what I'm saying, you better have all this stuff done that I was talking about. And make sure that you're using your account in a meaningful way so that they can go ahead and verify you. Now, I was nonchalant when I got mine. I was feeling like, yo, I'm doing everything I can. I ain't pressed. And that's how I ended up getting verified. Not really rushing it, not none of that. Um, also, you know, that all of this stuff that I'm telling you, man, if you do this stuff, it'll raise your chances from 5 to 85%. Still no guarantee that you're going to get verified. But, you know, I'm leaving a link in the description as to how to apply. It's real simple. Uh, just follow instructions one by one. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Any concerns, I'll try my best to help you. Hit subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you follow my channel because I'm trying to get verified too. Thanks. Peace out.